The new action button on the new iPhone 15 Pro models is of course one of the best new features of the iPhone 15 Pros. And you can actually do a lot more than you can think with the action button. Like something like this here, you can see the watch face on my Apple Watch. I can just use the action button and in a couple of seconds I will have a new watch face on my Apple Watch. I wanna go back to the old one, of course just run it again and I can just go back to the old watch face. Now let me show you guys how to do this and 11 more hidden tricks and of course hacks for the new action button on the iPhone 15 Pro. So first of all, for this first one, if you wanna change the watch face, of course you need to have your iPhone connected to your Apple Watch and then just head on to your settings and go to focus. Here under focus, you tap the plus button to create a new focus mode. And all you have to do here is of course add a name and when you go to configure the focus mode, all you have to do here is just tap right here, choose where it shows the Apple Watch and just choose the watch face you wanna actually use. So if we use this one, we tap done. And then all you have to do is go back here to settings and go to the action button, go to focus right here, tap to choose the focus and just choose the focus you just created. And now you will be able to actually change the watch face of your Apple Watch using the action button. Now, whenever you need to save a ton of battery on your iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, you can create an action for the action button that will actually add some really cool filters to your device, which actually save a ton of battery. So again, we're using the focus mode. So head on to focus here, create a new focus and tap on custom here, add a name. And once you add the name, go to customize focus here. Don't touch anything here. All you have to do is just go to the filters, tap on add filter. And here we will have a few filters that actually save a ton of battery. So of course we will have the always on display. So turn on always on display right here. Just keep it off. And then of course add another filter. We want to turn on the low power mode Add this one. And then another one here. We want to turn on the dark mode select dark right there, tap on add, and now you're good to go. Once you run this focus mode through the action button, you will have all of these settings enabled, which actually will save a ton of battery on your device. Again, go to focus here, tap right there and just choose the action you just created. In this case is battery. There we have it. And now we can just run this and it will turn on the low power mode, dark mode, and also turn off the always on display, which will save a ton of battery on our device. You can also use the focus mode tricks to actually hide any apps on your home screen. So if I'm here on the home screen, I have a couple of pages. Now right here, I will have my social apps, messaging apps and all that. If I just wanna quickly hide them, all I have to do is go to focus here and create a new focus mode. Now what I need to do there with this focus mode is go right here where it says choose. This is for the home pages. So tap on choose right there and I can choose which like page I want to have enabled when the focus mode is turned on. So what we need to do now is just select that, go back, go to the action button again, select that focus mode we just created. You can see I have two different pages here, but I can quickly hide this one as easy as that simply by using the action button. With the new action button, of course, you will be able to run shortcuts as well. And one of them that is pretty cool is the ability to quickly switch to a new wallpaper on your device. Now to do that, you go to the shortcuts app, you tap the plus button right there and tap on add action. And right here, just search for wallpaper and you will find switch between wallpapers. Go there, tap here where it says wallpaper and pick the wallpaper to which you wanna switch. That one right there, tap the dumb button, again the dumb button. And now of course we're here under the settings of the new action button. We just go to the shortcut section here, choose the shortcut and then we will have our shortcut so that we have switched between wallpapers. As easy as that from this wallpaper, I can quickly move to another one by the click of the button. Now when it comes to shortcuts, there is a shortcut, a custom shortcut that allows you to do way more from the action button will ha without having to actually switch between all the different actions. It is called all in one action button. So simply select that from the shortcuts here. So let's just go to my shortcuts 
and then we have only one action button and you can see right there we tap on it and we get a menu of everything that we can do from the action button we can take a screenshot here or go like light up the flashlight or anything we want to do it's pretty cool actually it allows you to do way more without having to always switch between different actions on the action button menu now on the action button here you will have of course the ability to turn on the camera when you do that it will take you straight to the photo but what you can do here is switch between like different modes you can tap there and go to video for example but what this will do it will take you there to the app but won't start recording a video now here's a trick for that you go to the shortcuts app tap the plus button and search here for like you will have the camera here you don't need to search for anything just go here and then you will have here take video so we select that you choose the camera and then tap the down button of course we select it here from the shortcuts and there we go all we have to do now is tap and hold here the action button and it already is recording a video how cool is that now one of the coolest things like one of the main things that i would actually use the side button the action button actually here is to actually lock and unlock the orientation lock of my device that's actually pretty convenient i'm really surprised that apple didn't put it right here under the actions but again you can do that just by going to shortcuts select here at action and search for orientation then we have set orientation lock go there make sure you have the toggle there choose tap done and of course then just select it from here and we can turn on or off the orientation lock as easy as that from here and with ios 17 and new devices you will have the newer devices with the lidar scanner you will have a mode called detection mode it basically will detect anything through the camera of your iphone and will speak to you will tell you what that object is so to enable that make sure you go under accessibility here and go to choose choose feature you will have detection mode right here once you have this selected there you can run it from here it will take you right here into the detection mode you can basically choose like the detection mode which you can actually just point something there and it will speak it for you it will basically recognize anything that you just like place in front of the camera so you can see right there a person holding a green plant in front of a wall with a graffiti how correct is that is actually pretty pretty good now if you like to use the assistive touch on your iphone the assistive touch menu you can actually use now the action button to enable or disable it simply head on to the accessibility section here and just scroll here you will have assistive touch and just like that you can have the assistive me touch menu show up on the screen of your device of course even hide it as easy as that for the next one head on to shortcuts create a new shortcut and tap on add action and search for volume there you have set volume and you can just go ahead and choose media or ringer so whenever i want to just quickly turn down the volume of my device to zero i can just do that and then of course from the shortcut section here i can just choose that and it doesn't matter how much the volume of my device is when i run it it will simply turn off the volume of my device now with the action button you can also quickly start a new note you tap right there and you will have this as a preset action from apple so you just tap right there and there you go you will have now the ability to quickly start a note anywhere you are directly from the action button and if you just want to play a playlist your favorite playlist from apple music head on to shortcuts tap the plus button and then just tap here on play music where it says music tap on it go to playlists and choose the playlist you want to use tap the plus button right there at the top so it selects the whole playlist and we're good to go now of course this is easy you go here and again choose that playlist tap and hold the action button and there it goes your playlist will start playing as easy as that so that's basically it for this video guys these are some of the best tricks and hidden features and hacks that you can use with the new action button on the iphone 15 pros hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one